Mr. Samarvira, what do you think of this Adhidharana initiative to bring the opinion of the masses to those who matter? Yes, I think uh, Gerala TV, first of all, must be commended for giving uh, its web viewers all over the world to uh, an opportunity to ask questions on topical issues from various uh, people in Sri Lanka. But, of course, at the same time, I must say that uh, absolutely kind of vitriolic remarks made by some of your viewers uh, uh, were in many ways were very uh, uh, revealing about the uh, the quality of those who watch your program because I found that there were very few constructive criticisms. Uh, instead, there were a lot of venomous uh, kind of remarks bordering on hysteria. Uh, and in certain instances, I mean, there was one question which even dragged in the passing away of my mother into it. So, uh, unfortunately, I don't know if you are attracting the right crowd for the commendable uh, efforts uh, you are doing through this. Because I think what is needed is a very is a constructive debate amongst people about certain ideas and certain principles, and of course the principle of being able to tolerate other views and to discuss it rationally is something extremely important. And I hope uh, as time goes along, you will attract more and more such viewers who will be able to uh, perhaps contribute in a more constructive manner. Will the forming of an opposition alliance ever materialize? Yes, actually we are in the last stages of finalizing such an alliance because Sri Lanka is today perhaps at a very important juncture and uh, especially with the threat to democracy and the threat of an impending dictatorship we felt that it is very important that all the democratic forces in this country come together onto one platform. And we have now finalized actually the policy framework on which we are going to work together. Uh, because finally what is the most important are the policies and the principles uh, of an alliance, especially at a time when principal politics seems to be more or less a thing of the past. Uh, so all that has been sorted out and I'm most probably, I'm quite optimistic that uh, this new uh, alliance uh, will be in place hopefully before the uh, end of the month, hopefully within the next six weeks. If such an alliance is formed, uh, who will be the leader? Oh, the leader of the alliance of course would be Mr. Ayu Vikramasinghe as the leader of the United National Party because uh, the United National Party will be the main constituent party of, an, of this alliance. And as you know, Sri Lanka is, a, is basically a two-party system, whatever anyone else says. And uh, uh, today, the main opposition party will lead it, but of course, uh, very many other groups, uh, parties, and even uh, civil society uh, organizations have uh, promised their support to us and uh, we will be able to reveal to you the, the people who will be participating uh, when we announce the final formation. This has been rumoured in the media for some time now. Will former President Chandrika Kumarathunga return to Sri Lankan politics? No, definitely not. I can say that with absolute authority. She uh, has uh, categorically uh, stated that she is not returning to Sri Lankan politics, but as uh, uh, a person who uh, ruled this country for 10 years and saw one of the, I mean, saw uh, a period of growth and development uh, and also who managed to uh, have very, very close ties with the international community. Despite not being in politics, I think she has a great role to play internationally in any future government. Are you the leader of the Platform for Freedom? 
No, I am not the leader of the platform for free freedom. In fact, the platform for freedom does not have any leaders at all. It was formed immediately after the brutal assassination of uh, La Santa Vikramatunga, the leader of the, 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 the leader of the Sandhi leader. Uh, and of course, and as a result of the various other uh, incidents against the media uh, during the last 11 uh, and a half years. And this was a platform where the right to live and the right to speak was going to be enshrined and protected. Uh, so it was, it was an idea which came out, as I said, out, out of the death of La Santa and a lot of civil society groups, lawyers groups, other professional groups got together. And we uh, of different political parties are also supporting it. But, uh, uh, and now, of course, I must say the platform for freedom is becoming far more successful than we ever anticipated because finally Sri Lanka, if we are to get out of this uh, horrendous uh, dictatorial trends, needs a mass uh, movement of this kind. Your initiative, Mr. Samarira. The Defense Watch, how successful was it? It was that it was actually Defense Watch was something which was greatly needed at that particular point in time when the whole country was uh, pushed into a euphoric situation only showing one side of the story and it, in any democracy uh, or in any uh, situation uh, like what we had before, I think it is very important that the other side of the story is also presented. And, uh, I, and I think we did, we did uh, present uh, the other side of the coin uh, very successfully and also showed how uh, this government was using the valiant lives of our shoulders for political purposes. And now after, you know, I mean after many months, people are slowly beginning to realize the wisdom of what we have said. You know, I mean, at that time, the, the government, you know, uh, basically marketed the lives of the other these poor boys who were fighting for, 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 for their motherland. But now that the war has been won and their political targets have been achieved, no one talks about the soldiers. All the billboards which are there in Colombo and elsewhere almost every 10 yards is felicitating one family for the victory. But no, everyone seems to have forgotten that the real, the people who brought this victory were the soldiers of this country and not only the present soldiers. You know, we must always remember that since 1983, the LTT problem became uh, into a, turned into a full-scale war, so to speak. Uh, many, many valuable lives have been lost, uh, soldiers as well as civilians on both sides of the divide. And, uh, and finally, uh, the, the, the credit for defeating the LTT uh, must uh, be uh, shared by all those soldiers and others who uh, contributed to it over the last uh, 26 years.